Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Superman Lower Season 3. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more theorizing about the upcoming season because we talked about a lot recently. Also on my streams, a lot of you guys have brought up some interesting theories and I wanted to break down a couple of them today in regards to Superman Lois. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. So we have a bunch of questions that you guys have sent in and I've got a couple of theories myself to talk about. But before we actually go into this, if you want to support the channel and actually be included in a live stream and you can come in, talk to me live and talk to your fellow members, become a member of the channel today by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. You can do that very easily. You can go for the lowest rank or you could go for the highest tier. It's up to you. And that is just a way that you can join one of our members live streams that we're going to be doing very soon where we'll be talking live and you can talk to me personally. And so that is an exciting thing that we've got coming for the channel. Also, if you are a member, you can join our monthly member Zoom calls where we just talk generally, you know, it's not broadcast anywhere and it's just, you know, more personal, I guess. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So the first thing I want to talk about is this. So we've been talking about potentially Supergirl coming onto Superman Lois, but it being a different version of Supergirl, potentially being played by a different actor, that would be the most likely scenario. There is always the chance that the Supergirl from the films, from the DCEU could show up on Superman Lois because we've seen Ezra Miller show up on The Flash before, so there's already precedent for that. But I got a question from one of you guys which is interesting because it talks about a character who has played a big part in the Arrowverse in the past and that person is Martian Manhunter. So Marcus Barras on YouTube asks, are we going to see Martian Manhunter from Supergirl in a future season of Superman Lois as a series regular, recurring, or a guest star on the show? So since the very start of Supergirl, Jean has been around. He has been a major character, especially after he was revealed to not be Hank Henshaw, but to be Jean Jones, the Martian Manhunter. And so since then, David Harewood, who played him, was a series regular on Supergirl for a very long time. He just reappeared in the comics in Earth Prime, the crossover series. And so with that in mind, we have to ask the question like Marcus is asking, is there a possibility that a version of Martian Manhunter could show up on Superman Lois? Considering that he is actually a substantial character who is related to Superman in the comics, I would say there's always a chance. I would probably guess it's a little bit less likely just due to how prominent he was in the past. I don't know if they want to go for someone too prominent unless it's someone like Supergirl where they could maybe twist it and use Power Girl as a way of kind of being a little bit different and trying not to, you know, copy the DNA of Supergirl but like altering it in their own way. But that's just a guess. So do I think there is any chance? I think so because he has been in Superman's related comics for a long time, so I don't see why not if they actually want to use him, I just think they'll have to wait for the right story to actually do that. But another big question people have been asking is, since they released that poster for The Flash and Superman Lois, and even before that, people have been asking since they established this is on another Earth, it's on Superman Lois's own Earth, which they haven't designated like a number or a name yet, so we're just calling it Superman Lois's Earth. Is there a chance that a version of The Flash could show up? Now, with that poster, I don't think it actually confirms anything or even teases anything. I think that's just a simple poster teasing that yes, The Flash and Superman Lois are still around, they're going to be having new seasons, that's why we're releasing this poster. And so, do I think The Flash could be recast on Superman Lois and ever show up as like a fairly substantial character like we've talked about Supergirl and Green Arrow recently? I think there is less of a possibility for that only because The Flash is a Flash related character, he is not a Superman related character so I would put more money on someone like Martian Manhunter showing up because if you look at their track record already on the characters that they've retcon from Supergirl, we've had characters who were all from Supergirl, so that being General Lane, Lucy Lane, and Morgan Edge. They were three characters that appeared in different forms in Supergirl, but when they showed up on Superman Lois, 
two of them were played by a different actor, one was the same actor, that being Lucy Lane of course, but they were totally different characters. So I think in the case of The Flash, since Barry is still around, since Grant has still got his own show, and it's probably going to go to season 10 as far as I can tell, there is always the chance that they end it with season 9, but it's still around, so I don't think they're going to be doing any kind of recasting or retooling of The Flash and Superman Lois whilst The Flash is still on. Maybe when The Flash ends and if Superman Lois is still running and they want to do some sort of crossover, I guess they could bring Grant back if they want to do a crossover, or they could recast the character and actually have him show up in a different form. I mean, it's the multiverse. That is what they've established with them setting this apart from Earth Prime, it means it's another Earth out there. And so with that in mind, there is always a chance that characters can cross over from the multiverse, but also on Superman Lois' Earth, they can be totally separate and independent from Earth Prime. Okay, so let's move on to some of your next questions. Vicky Kent on YouTube asks, do you think Clark will work on the Gazette with Chrissy and Lois? So, this is something that they teased at the end of last season. They've been leading up to this for a while, and now it seems like it's the time, especially since Chrissy got the reveal that Clark is Superman. Obviously, she realizes this could be a good source, and he has a good track record, even though he hasn't had a job in a while, apart from working at the school. So, yeah, I definitely think this is going to happen pretty early on in the season, because that is what they were kind of teasing at the end of last season, with Lois kind of trying to introduce the idea of Clark working at the Gazette and being a colleague of them because he is a useful journalist, he's got experience and he would be like a good part of the team so yeah I definitely think it's gonna happen. Okay Kitty Cass on YouTube asks, so is the Bizarro world just a different universe that they just so happen to be able to travel and be able to merge with? And how do you think Ali's family even found out about it? I think they accidentally found out about it just due to their actions and, you know, their totem or whatever it was called, where they were able to kind of cross over into that other world. And so I think it was just like a total accident that they found it. And yes, the Bizarro world is just another world in a different universe. It's a different version of Earth. It's identical in some ways, but it's very different in other ways. And so they were just able to travel to it because there was that portal. And if you remember on The Flash and in past crossovers, Cisco actually created a device that they were able to open portals to travel to other Earths in the multiverse. And so this is just a different version of that. This is seemingly a naturally occurring portal in the minds that somehow links the two worlds together but I'm not too clear on how Ali was able to actually physically go between the two Earths because they aren't physically next to each other. I guess if you look at the grand scheme of the multiverse they could be next to each other and maybe that's how she did it but I don't know how she got between the two worlds because obviously you can't see one whilst on the other one so yeah somehow she was able to bring Bizarro World from another universe into our universe and begin to merge the two worlds and so in the future it seems we're going to get more multiverse stuff i don't know if it's going to be on superman lois is it going to be on other shows we'll have to wait and see how they actually go about reintroducing the multiverse you would presume it's probably going to be on the flash however the flash hasn't really gone into the multiverse side of things recently they've been more into time travel like they have been previously in the past especially with Nora and Bart being around and Reverse Flash and Armageddon happening that was all about the future and the present and the past and so maybe we see the multiverse actually being revealed on the Flash but I don't know if we're going to get that anytime soon. There hasn't been any hints so we'll just have to wait and see because we don't believe there is a big crossover this coming year as far as the showrunners of both The Flash and Superman and Lois have teased. Okay, so the final question on YouTube comes from Marcus Barris once again. He says, are we going to see Lex Luthor from Supergirl in a future season of Superman and Lois as a villain, as a series regular, recurring, or a guest star, as Marcus previously said? So, I've talked about this briefly recently, that I think Lex should show up on Superman and Lois, 
but I think it should be John Cryer, but maybe they can retool him in the same way that they retooled Lucy Lane, so it doesn't have to be the exact version of Lex Luthor. However, I think it would be a cool thing to actually have one link to the Arrowverse and one link to Supergirl by having a multiverse traveling Lex Luthor. So what I mean by that is our version of Lex Luthor played by John Cryer somehow manages to cross over into Superman Lois Earth he realizes there's no Supergirl here, but there is Superman, so he's going to try and take over this world because there is not many heroes apart from Superman. And obviously, as we know Lex, he thinks he can pretty much do anything and probably outsmart Superman. So I think that would be actually a very good idea to introduce the Supergirl version of Lex and bring him onto Superman Lois as a multiversal character and maybe be like a series regular kind of villain who shows up for a substantial part of the season. You would presume they're planning some sort of Lex Luthor storyline at one point because he's such a pivotal character in Superman's legacy in the comics and in the Arrowverse, even if this is not our version of Superman that we've previously seen who has a relationship with Lex, because we don't know as of right now if there is a Lex on Superman Lois's Earth, so we'll just have to wait and see. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. All of this would really help out the channel. And remember, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.